Hi, this is Ryan from Bedroom Tattooing, and today we're going to be talking about positioning basics again. Quick tip for you on how to tattoo a butt. Rock and roll. Okay, now that's over. Butts. Butt tattoos are a pain in the butt. Ah. Um, it's difficult. The skin is vascular, it's thick, it's hypermobile, right? Because they, people are able to move their legs. And getting someone to sit comfortably for this can be difficult because on average, uh, butt tattoos, bum tattoos, posterior gluteus maximus tattoos are difficult uh, to, because they're painful, right? Um, surprisingly enough, especially when you get like the bottom of that cheek line by the back of like the, uh, the upper part of the leg, the hamstring. Whew, ouchie, same going up the side towards the flanks. It, it, everything on the butt can hurt. So. How can we make someone sit more effectively uh, to tattoo their butt? A uh, few things to do. Um, I have seen this before. You get chair. I don't have my black pen. I, I gotta go to the Office Max or something and try to pick something up soon, but you know, whatever. Um, you get someone sitting on their knees, feet hanging off, right? Just kind of leaned over a chair. Uh, you grab a roller pillow, something like that, that's gonna be sitting through there. And uh, you just sit there on your stool, right? And, uh, Give it the tattoo. Yep. I guess that works. Um, easy way if you don't have a massage table to be able to tattoo a bum. Uh, bad thing about this is getting the underside of the butt is awfully difficult unless you have somebody lean over the chair, which can be generally uncomfortable and kind of unsafe. Um, but it, you know, easy way. Seen it done in conventions. Never done it myself. I just, uh, <laughs> I forget which convention that was, but I was like, you tattoo in a butt? I'm like, yep. Yeah. Like, you don't have a massage table? Nope. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> so no, normally what we do, bad stories aside, is we'll have a massage table, right? Instead of having a person just laid out flat like we normally do, right? Um, just chilling, uh, face down, whatever, right? We try to have them roll up one way or the other depending on the cheek that we're gonna be working with, right? Let's say we're working on this side of the bum. We're gonna have them kind of roll up and almost on their side and take that leg that they have and we're gonna have it tuck in. Pull it up towards their chest even, if you want to. Which you probably should have done that right off the hop. I just wanted to see this person dance, anyways. So we'll have them pull their leg up, right? And what that's gonna do with the butt, instead of it being, you know, like this, <laughs> that's, you know, some badonkadonk. When their leg pulls up, it's gonna actually stretch, right? The vast majority of this. We'll have about two thirds of it on that, uh, on that backside, that is gonna be well enough stretched that we can just do whatever we want. And you can increase this on the outside edge of the bum, right, by having somebody cross their legs, pull their leg a little bit further over, especially on like that hip, the outside hip side. You can pull it really tight that way so you don't have to do a lot of stretching. Um, but the only bad thing is, is when you do something like this, the spot by the upper back just can't be done, right? So how do we fix that? Well, we'll have them drop their leg again. Simple enough. That's a lot of squeaking. We're gonna have them drop their legs again, try to keep them as straight as possible, and then we're gonna put something underneath their hips, right? You got a roller or a pillow, and we're gonna put underneath their hips and kind of prop them up a little bit. That'll end up pulling the lower back a little bit more straight. Once you get past the actual transition of the top part of the buttock onto the lower back, that's when you sit someone up, crisscross applesauce, holding onto something, leaning forward, and that stretches the upper part of the back as well. Simple, right? So, you're gonna be tattooing a butt, just think about how best to make sure that that skin that you're gonna work on is pulled as taut as possible. That'll help decrease a little bit of the, uh, the inflammation, redness, and oozing that naturally occurs every time you tattoo a butt. And also keep the client hopefully a little bit more engaged, right? So they're not as prone to twitching. That's it. This is Ryan from Better Tattoo and signing off.